Hey folks, check out what I got. A genuine cam cap. Sent to me by Andy Jack himself. After in my video where I tested my little camera, I uh, not so subtly mentioned, well, that I could use one. And he sent one to me, free of charge. So I figured it would only be the fair thing to do to, well, put it to the test and, uh, well, make a review. So, welcome to the, the glued review of the cam cap. So, obviously it comes with the cam cap. It also comes with a little screw, which you can use to, uh, well, screw your uh, GoPro mount onto it. Or whatever camera you have to go which is compatible with this. It comes with this little thingy which you can use to uh, combine with well a part which comes with the camera which I can show you now because well I'm using it as we speak but if you put it on here you can basically uh, well if you got it on here you could tilt the camera a little forward or backwards if you were to need that and it comes with this little thingy in which you can uh, well basically uh, put your phone and use your phone to record stuff now I haven't I haven't really used this thing I haven't tested it but if you uh, put your phone in it now mine has a little button in the middle so I have to offset it ever so slightly but that shouldn't be a problem but once it's in there yeah that's that's not really that's not really going anywhere that's solid as a rock now Obviously, I have used I haven't used this one to to video with my uh, phone because I use my GoPro. However, I have figured out a uh, a use for this, which uh, hasn't been explored, but it should be an awesome selling point. Let me demonstrate. I'll just screw this right on here. Yep. Of course, I'm going to look like a clumsy asshole on camera, but no. Who cares? Alright, put that on there. I will put my phone in here. Alright. There you go. And now, allow me to demonstrate one of the most awesome selling points for the cam cap, which... Oh, it's quite brilliant if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. There you go. I come on, you piece of shit. Work. Uh, and check this out. Huh? Huh? If you make this a, a selling point, Andy. You could, you could sell them by the millions to, to people like Alex Botton and his mates. You're going to be rich, Andy. Mark my fucking words. Oh, yeah. But, uh, alrighty, on to the, uh, to the review. I'll, uh, I haven't even uh, reviewed the footage yet, so uh, after I'm done recording this, I will slap the footage together, edit it, and uh, I will come back to you with my end review. So, uh... Enjoy the show, folks. All right. Let's take a look how our little peewee is doing. Our little peewee who's about uh, 10 foot about now. But, uh, yeah, starting to bud nicely. Let's take a peek at the top. Oh, yeah, this going to be good. It's not going to be top quality, but uh, it'll do. Oh, and while we're here, check out the goddamn spiders this year. They're everywhere. And they're fucking huge. Let's see if you can find a really big one over here. Man. I guess that's what you get. When you have record heat after record heat, they just stick around. Go get it! Yeah!
Go get it! Kill it! Kill it! Yeah, that's right! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Go get it! Go get it! <laughs> and of course you can also use them to make video responses which would require very little editing so uh, let's give it a shot hey folks don't you just love it when somebody who makes video after video after video after video on a daily basis Oh shut up you big fat troll, you're just saying all those things about people's beliefs and their reasoning and arguments and making fun of them just because it's true. You, how dare you, how dare you, facts, facts hurt people, facts are hate, you should respect people you, you big fat bully troll. Hmm. Yeah, I think this ought to work, yeah. All right, and now for the driving video. And before anybody uh, feels the need to comment how dangerous it is, how dangerous it is to make a video while you're driving, uh, if, if you're gonna do that, uh, be my guest. But then also explain to me, please, how talking to a camera which doesn't talk back is so much more dangerous than making a hand-free phone call to somebody who does talk back and requires your attention or even a fellow passenger who talks back to you maybe even argues with you or better yet a bunch of kids in the back throwing a tantrum and gouging each other's eyes out uh, please explain me to me how that is so much less dangerous than just talking to yourself basically but anyway, the driving video. Uh, first of all, excuse the uh, the uh, state of my windshield and the inside of my car. Uh, I can't be fucked to clean my car just for this video. But anyways, uh, I have high hopes for uh, the driving video. Because normally when somebody does a driving video, the camera is either uh, fixed on the person themselves. So you can only see them. Or it's just facing forward in a fixed position mounted to the car so all the vibrations and driving sounds they just get carried into the camera directly making it often really hard to watch and understand but like this this should give a very a very well good representation of what the driver is actually seeing so you can have a well a good look at the environment that they're going through which should make things more interesting at least for me considering whenever whenever somebody makes a driving video I really want to see what's all around them and that's something that yeah sure sure don't hurry up you fucking asshole uh, anywho uh, hoping that uh, this camera isn't catching mostly roof as I'm driving and isn't too disorienting for the viewer but like I said I have high hopes for it so uh, yeah should be good hopefully uh, on to the next test to which I'm actually driving right now alrighty and now for 
the most important test the public am I gonna get my ass kicked or not not too busy but we should get sure to get a couple of good reactions in here hopefully not too good like well, me getting my ass kicked which would be funny for the rest of you though Well, that was surprisingly uneventful. Mm -hmm. 
and those were the tests. Well, all in all, I have to say, uh, well, it worked pretty good. The uh, camera, it, uh, the way it doesn't uh, make the cat fly down, worked great. The shots, they aren't too steady, but of course, you can't really expect, uh, well, movie quality uh, steadiness on an action cam mounted on a hat. But uh, yeah, it worked pretty good. Uh, maybe in case of the, uh, well, playing with your cat, the, uh, well, the little uh, uh, thing in the bob, the thing to uh, make it tilt forward a little uh, would be better, but uh, yeah, that's just a little minor adjustment. No biggie. Well, and then for the, uh, well, the public test, uh, nobody really actually responded to it. I got a couple of looks uh, that the camera maybe didn't catch, but that was about it. Mostly people didn't even notice or just didn't even give a fuck. So, yeah, uh, I'd say screw that sucker on your cam cap and uh, go into public places and videotape whatever the fuck you want. Uh, you're not really going to get your ass kicked. Well, maybe depending on where you live, but uh, as you can see, I didn't. So, yeah, uh, all in all, conclusion, it works pretty good. I'm... Uh, I'm pretty happy with my cam cap, so uh, I think I'll be using it every now and then, so yeah. Uh, thanks Andy for, well, giving it to me for free. Uh, what can I say? I hope you liked the review, and uh, I'll put some links down below, and uh, everybody uh, go buy a cam cap. I haven't sold out, but uh, go buy a cam cap. Everybody uh, have a great weekend.